today I want to show you guys some strafing tips that the pros do that you don't know about. So basically what they do is they like to move left and right and when they engage in those gunfights and it makes them a much harder target to kill. It just absolutely throws the enemy off when they're in those gunfights and it also throws off their aim as well because they're being so evasive. Now that's not only what I want to show you but I also want to show you how effective strafing can be and how much quickness is exactly added to when you're aiming in. So I'm going to show you guys a few clips of what it looks like to aim down sights like normally versus aiming down sights using this broken mechanism all right so here we go so we're just going to aim in normally just like this so look how slow that looks on my screen okay we're going to do the same thing here with the sog and by the way the maddox and the sog are two really good weapons i highly recommend to win those gunfights especially when you're strafing and trying to use this mechanism to its full potential okay so now we're going to take a look at some clips of that, what it looks like in third person. Now I'm going to utilize this broken mechanism to show you guys what you can do to maximize your movement speed while using the Maddox and the SOG. And this actually works for any gun, but I highly recommend to use it on any weapon that has quick draw two on it, mainly because when you aim in, your field of vision does not zoom in and it's going to really hurt your eyes and obscure your vision in those gunfights. And it's definitely going to be a very, very negative experience for you. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So look how when I'm aiming in, see how the screen just zooms in like that. But when you have quick draw two, you're able to aim in without having the screen zoom in on you. This is where the magic begins so the Maddox that I'm using it's a complete setup this is the preferred setup that a lot of pros use we got on elo site quick draw one quick draw two and stock now the main thing I want you guys to notice is quick draw two now what quick draw two does is that it prevents the screen from zooming in so let me show you right here so remember in the beginning of the video when you ADS your whole screen just zooms in but now that we have quick draw two, you don't have to worry about that. So you're able to ADS really fast and spam that button. And you're able to maximize your movement speed at the same time because we have on stock and we're moving left and right. So right now we're ADS spamming and we're moving left and right. Okay, so let me show you guys the difference. So let's just aim in. This is with stock, right? We're aimed in right now. Now let's go ADS spam. Okay, just like this, you're constantly spamming that button and you're moving left and right simultaneously. This is going to give you the jump on enemies. If you do this around every single corner around the map, for example, just like this, look at that. It's like barely noticeable. You get to snap on enemies a lot faster and more accurately as well while maintaining evasiveness in those gunfights. So I'm just moving left and right. So get in the habit of doing this around around corners where you feel like there's going to be enemies just like that all right so let's take a look at what that looks like in third person when you're ads spamming and you're strafing left and right okay now let's try that with the sog and this is without ads spamming Look how noticeably slower that is. And now we're going to start ADS spamming. Just like so. All right, so we're going to get into a couple matches here because I just want to show you guys an example of how I personally use the SOG and the Medox when I'm trying to strafe and use that to my advantage in those gunfights. So it looks like we're going to be on contraband right now. So since it's a bit of a bigger map for an SMG, you want to play to the SMG strengths. I always tell you guys this all the time. If you're using an SMG, you want to maximize its potential by bringing the gunfights closer to your enemies instead of just trying to engage in long range gunfights because you're definitely not going to win those gunfights especially if they're using ARs. So here's the class setup. And I just want to clarify that even though the SOG with double stock was moving just a tad bit faster than the SOG with no stock, we don't really need that much mobility because we want to be able to utilize different attachments on the weapon uh, without really sacrificing too many points. So that's why I only toned it down to stock only one time because SMGs in general, they have a lot of mobility as is. All right, so we're just going to be keeping in mind to strafe left and right as many times as possible. But of course, using it when needed. 
So right there, I strafe left and right. I don't think that guy was. Whoa, right. Whoa, hold on. What? Oh, okay. All right. You want me to? You want me to pull my tryhard panties? I'll do that. Okay, I didn't need to strafe right there. Okay, so I did a mixture of a jump and a strafe right there. All right, dodged all his bullets right there. Are you serious? Okay, teammate, thank you for finishing him off. Dodge those bullets again right there. It may seem subtle on my screen, but remember, in the third person view, how much mobility you're actually adding by doing that. Okay, and I'm pre-aiming down lines of sight where I believe that there's gonna be enemies. It's a good little strafe right there. Uh-oh, I'm hurt. Be passive aggressive, you know, don't think that, oh, just because you're strafing that you're gonna have the advantage. Uh-oh. Where is he at? Okay, did a bit of a strafing right there. It's calling this UAV. We are out of ammo right now. Ooh, they're coming in hot. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye. See where they're at now. One right behind me. Nope, not gonna challenge that. Got him with the strafing. Right here. Woo, baby. Is he gonna come out? All right, mimic the enemy movement. Okay, that wouldn't be smart to challenge that. Here we go, we got somebody right here. Ooh. Of course I'm gonna die to the Mog 12 Dragon Breath. Come on now. Strafing is not gonna stop that. Okay, won that gunfight. That person died. Where is he? All right. Perfect. All right, are there any more? All right, they should be spawning in here. Oh man, that guy ran right past me. There you go. There should be more. They should be spawning in over here on this side. Oh man, that was too easy. Let me get both of y'all. Let's go. Okay, now, okay, we got a UAV, but it was just way too late. Uh, we're not really so focused about my score right now. It was just more of just showing you guys uh, the strafing mechanisms in this game and how you could utilize it to your advantage. Uh, let's see if I do a little bit over here of some strafing. And that's cool. I got the best play of the game. Oh, probably not. Yeah, this is when... Uh, oh, actually, this part right here. So I strafed just a little bit right there. And as you can see right there, I was mimicking the enemy's movement. It's very small. You can't really tell on, on uh, in a first-person mode. But best believe from the enemy's point of view, they're like, whoa, what the heck? You know, just like I was showing you guys with the third-person examples in the beginning of the video. All right, so now we're going to be using the Maddox, and I just want to make a quick disclaimer. With the strafing, you can use that on almost any weapon if you have stock available to put on the weapon. Just strafe left and right. You don't need to ADS spam. The only reason why I show you guys in this tutorial today is because the Maddox is definitely supreme when it comes to ADS spamming. And like I was showing you guys earlier, the difference between ADS spamming with the Maddox and the Maddox without spamming the ADS, the difference is super, super night and day. So that's why a lot of pros use the Maddox. So here, here's the class setup again, and we're going to get into it. And with the Maddox, you don't really want to keep your engagements uh, at long range. You want to try and keep it close. That's where you melt enemies the most. All right, so right there, I did a bit of a strafing mechanism. This guy's moving unbelievably fast. Got him. Got him. And, you're, and also, if you know how to jump shot... Combining that as well is going to be very, very beneficial. Okay, so they got a UAV. I'm going to hang out with my teammate. There's one more right there. 
Oh yeah, baby. Gotta love it. Love that ADS spam. That was perfect. Looks like teammates in trouble. Take that guy out. Nothing. They're probably pushing here. Okay, I got him. UAV standing by. Let's reload. UAV established overhead. Okay, so we got two. I'm gonna try and flank. Got him. That was a great flank. Okay, that was a nice kill. I, I believe there was one more. Oh, this guy right here to my left. Ooh, he is one shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get out of there ASAP. Where is he? Always ready. UAV available for tasking. That's what I like about being able to ADS so quickly is the snapping onto targets. It just sticks to the enemy. Let's see where they go next. RCXD deployed. I believe there's someone right here. That should be another easy kills right here. Oh man, that was all bad. Take out that guy. Okay, take him out. Looks like we're coming up. We're outnumbered. Not smart for me to go that way. Okay, did a bit of a strafing movement right there, as you can see. So not every situation you're going to need to do that. Wonder where he's gonna spawn next. Ooh, that was close. Somebody here? Where are they gonna be at? Got him! I love that how it just sticks. Okay, he's got a. He's got a pretty good angle. Whoa, that was a nice kill. All right, what do we get? 27 and four. Like I said, it's not really about the, the KD here. It's all about just showing you guys the mechanism of ADS spamming with the Maddox and using strafe when needed. So like I said, you don't need to use the Maddox to strafe. You could do this on any weapon as long as it has the stock attachment. Just conventionally aim in and strafe left and right. And most importantly, mimic your target. So if they're moving left, you got to strafe left. If they're moving right, you got to strafe right. That's something that I want you guys to take away from this as well. And just get used to uh, getting into the habit and most importantly, be confident. Uh, so you guys, if you guys found this video helpful or interesting, definitely drop a like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe if you're new around here, because I know that there's people people out there who I, I pop up on their recommendation feeds all the time and they watch my videos but they don't subscribe it would really mean a lot to me if you did and i'll be truly thankful and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace